have to tell you that this is my favorite podcast I ever come on. I get so excited. This is the only podcast I get butterflies for. Well, I appreciate that. Bro, you're the best. So first time I came on here, I gave my cell phone number out. Yeah. Okay. So that's not a tip for you guys to go look at that episode. <laughs> but I put my phone number out there. Not only did I get business partners from that, I got business relationships. I just bought a $3 million uh, multifamily deal, sub two and seller finance, because somebody got my phone number from your podcast. Yeah. You have made me millions of dollars, not thousands, not hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars since my first episode. Well, I appreciate that. And you've made a lot of people millions of dollars too. And yes. people need to understand this. Like my, here's my strategy. Anybody that comes on your show, I'm like, oh, that's obviously somebody that's been vetted. Somebody that Steve knows is legit. I'm going to go become friends with that one person. And I'm going to see how I can make money with that person. Really good strategy. Simple strategy. Simple stra strategy. And I mean, I don't really need to get in, you know, too deep with this as far as the social media component, right? Yeah. Uh, obviously, you're doing really well on social media. But, you know, you're saying just you coming in on and just giving your phone number has made you millions of dollars. I mean, how, what would you say to someone right now that is like, should I make content? Uh, get over yourself. One, step one, get over yourself. Like, there, you have, everybody has something inside of them to benefit somebody else. And I think the biggest reason why they feel like they don't is they think that everybody is looking for a, a full book and that you're just one step ahead of them. So I'm like, guys, if you're just one chapter ahead of somebody else, like you've done one deal or you've cold called a hundred hours, you've never got a deal, then tell people that. Just show people the genuine authenticity. You're one step ahead of them. And that's all they need to know is that one next step. So forget about the imposter syndrome, forget about all that kind of stuff and post. I, I look at it this way. If I'm driving from Arizona to California and I'm hungry, how do I know there's a place to eat in the middle of the desert? Well, there's a sign yep. sticking up maybe two, three miles down the road. I'm like, oh, great. Meanwhile, if none of these hamburger joints or these sandwich shops had any signs, I would just drive right yep. by, by them, not knowing that they actually had, had a problem. They product. didn't let us know they were in business. Right. So throw up the damn golden arches, guys. And the golden arches in this business is social media. It is your business card nowadays. I saw a clip that you had posted. Uh, I'm assuming someone on your team posted, right? But that was a great clip. It was you and Brandon Turner with some uh, video mm. event. Yeah. Right. Talking about dating versus marriage. Right. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, actually. So first episode I did with you was a little over three years ago. I give my cell phone out and I said, if you guys need help closing deals, you guys need help with whatever creative finance deals, going on appointments, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you. So Cody Barton, my business partner, shoots me a text. Didn't know me at the time. He just saw me on the show and he was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I need. Okay. So Cody and I go and sit down in a McDonald's, ironically that I'm, th I'm bringing up the golden <laughs> arches. We go and sit down in a McDonald's, literally, he pulls open a laptop and he goes, Pace, I've got warm leads. And I go, prove it. Okay. So he gives me these leads. I'm sitting there again, guys, in a, in a McDonald's. I fly the next day to a Mark Evans event. And as I'm stepping out, taking breaks from the Mark Evans event, I'm making calls to his leads. That weekend, in two days... Cody and I made $40,000 together because he's like, here's the leads. I closed the deals, right? And immediately we were like, whoa, this is a great vibe. Mm -hmm. We should partner. Yeah. But we didn't do that. We dated for six months because you want to wait for people and their true nature to come out after about six months. Because when you first meet people, their guard is way up and you don't know who the real person is until... They get that late, that laziness. Mm -hmm. So it's why you also shouldn't propose to anybody until you're at least dating six months. So for me, Cody and I dated, we just JV'd on everything that we did. And then after about six months, we looked at each other and said, man, we, this is great. Yeah. This JV has made us both a lot of money. We like working together. We actually look forward to looking or working with each other. And we're constantly in competition to see who can outwork the other person. And here we are three years later, it's the same exact thing, constantly trying to outwork each other. He always loses, but he still tries. Yeah. I love Cody. And I got my partner from you, actually, from the show. Again, Steve Trang has made me millions of dollars. So dating, always, I would say six months of JVs before you go into a partnership. Uh, we did an event. Uh